But what happens when you run lights out and at the end, at the next morning, which would happen, we would come in to a small bucket at the end of the conveyor that with parts overloading and uh, uh, spilling over and on the ground, it was a problem. So I thought, you know, I wanted to buy a roto rack from Royal Products. Uh, it's pricey though, 10, 15, 20 grand. I don't remember, but it was expensive. Yeah, I get it that it allows us, you know, to run lights out. I think it's priced appropriately. But I kind of shelved that idea because I didn't want to spend the money, especially in the middle of a move. But I did come across this company. This is called Mini Mover. And it's just a small company here in Northern California or there in Northern California, we're in Southern California, um, that it's just an accumulator. And all it does is it has a very simple approach to a timed disc and a timed belt. So you can see here that we have our lock rings. Now these are the lock rings that go into the bottom of our pallets for our Pro Mini system and the, the MAPS 5 pallets. And we just make these uh, tens of thousands per year. There's such high demand. This machine is typically only running this, it's running our toe clamps or it's running our brake covers, which is the locking mechanism on those pallet systems. It's a perfect machine to do that. It's, it's a beast, production beast, but it has a small bucket at the end, which wasn't conducive to great long-term long production. So this allows us to run overnight, unattended, without having problems associated with parts piling up, stacking up, spilling on the floor. So far, it's adequate. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles as a more fully baked kind of roto rack, but this was about six grand. So let's say that you could buy three of these for the price of the Royal one, and it kind of achieves the same purpose, not as beautifully. Um, we had to modify a ton of things on this. We had to saw, we had to machine, it's okay, that's what we do. We know how to build and modify things. Uh, one of my favorite things is I got a new Bamboo Lab uh, X1 Carbon 3D printer. First part I did with um, their carbon fiber filament was one of these ramps that bridged the gap between the Doosan belt and the Mighty Mover blue belt. So that was super fun for me to just take measurements and it worked perfectly the second time, the second design. But so far, really happy. Very simple operation. Some of the, the, the cables on the ground, as you can see, kind of janky. If it were a little bit cleaner, it would probably be close to 10K, but for now, it does exactly what we need.